Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. I'm going to show you today about how I'm using the backlinks inside of Notion. It might give you an idea or some inspiration to get you started. Now backlinks have only been around for like a week or so, so as you can imagine, still early days. I'd really like to see how other people are using it. I think there's definitely some more interesting ways that I am using it at the very least. So um, as you can imagine, um, I was recently uh, had uh, Marie Poulin on the channel and her insights into how she organizes a database for people, places and things really inspired me even before the backlinks to sort of create an area that would essentially um, help me reference um, people in any sort of case. And as you can imagine, backlinks landed and this sort of made total sense. It was a bit of a weird timing. Uh, I got access a little bit earlier, but as you can imagine, still enough time to sort of uh, get the ball rolling. So as you can see here, like I've created pages for people that routinely come up, um, places that routinely come up and things as well. Um, so as you can see here, this is all the sort of pages I've created to date. Um, and it's really simple, sort of not too complicated. But as you can see here, if I go into say Marie Poulin's, anytime I at mention Marie, uh, in the title or in any of the body of the text, uh, she obviously gets a bank click here. So now Marie has her own sort of central database or place. And say, for example, this YouTube calendar feature, I've tagged her inside of the guests area. So now she actually has some app mention and connection and backlinks helps to connect that. And you can see here, this also connects a task up. Um, so if I go back, you should see email Marie Poulin as well is also was one of my tasks. And as you can see here, comes up in the mention. So what's cool is uh, I've been doing that, but why I particularly like backlinks is because I can do this fairly fast. So for example, I was actually doing this one before I did started this video, like email Matt Raglan to say thank you. And it was as simple as just going at mention. And if I didn't have that person in the system, say for example, Matt Raglan, then obviously I do have him in the system, but I would go to this new uh, inline page creation of new Matt Raglan page in, and if it was a people, places, or things, I could add them in everything. And as you can see here, that page has been created, and it links this obviously from here. But obviously I wanna go ahead and delete that because I don't want the two Matt Raglan pages wandering around this space. But it's been really useful because, um, for example, inside of my note-taking, um, this is a good one. So a good example is inside of my note taking, I've created one for Otto. And as you can see here, I've got all of his like weaning notes, the dietitian appointment and everything planned. Um, and any notes that I made while I was on vacation in terms of like, um, you know, like musings and things like that. And also for example, like the mortgage musings that we've been having, like, uh, We've I've been able to connect like over the weekend um, Bex and she has her own area and then house move will be connected up with this page now and any other relevant thing as well. So that's quite handy in terms of being able to sort of uh, quickly connect up pages um, and you can see here that I can then go into that area and connect everything up. But I find it useful for notes for people, places and things inside of the everything area and really just exploring the different ways you can use it. I've recently been doing it inside a YouTube calendar as well. For example, like if I have somebody on like Danny Hatcher, then that's all connected there, but I can start improving it. Um, and what I've been recently doing is linking them with images, getting his URL here, copy image URL and pasting it. And then now he has sort of like his own dedicated uh, space, which is quite nice. So as you can imagine, I could do that in real time and keep everything all in line and I can keep sort of connected with everything. So anytime he's referenced or mentioned in tasks inside of um, the blog calendar or another project that I'm working on, he's got some sort of connection to it. Obviously this is early days, so I can see people using it much better than I do, but hopefully that gave you a bit of an insight into how I'm going about using it. Anyway, folks, if you're not subscribed here, it'd be great to have you. We're doing more routine features about sort of tools like this. Hopefully, I should do one of my opinions on the new Evernote app. But, folks, thank you very much, and I'll talk to you all very soon. Cheerio.